When you take this story that you've put together, and I've heard you repeatedly talk about this uh, on multiple occasions, there's a, a very uh, important book in your life called No Fuzz. Um, and what? this No Fuzz? Oh, yeah. It's a journey of a boy from Buffalo to New York. Yeah. Did this influence this writing at all in, in that sense of Yeah, I think it I think it is I've, only, I've, only I never, I've never that. I've never had that connection, but now you say it in a really it's weird how you said that because this morning I spoke to Henry Chalfont. Henry, my dear friend. We're gonna go and spend some time with Henry next next couple of weeks. But Henry gave me that book, and that book is a really, really rare book. And when I read that book, yeah, I think you're right. I think I think part of me, the boy, this young kid living inside the trains, running in away and, and witnessing all of the violence and witnessing all of this stuff, which is pre-anything. You know, the difference with that book, with No Fuzz, No Fuzz, by the way, is a book, a journal. Some people say it's, it's the stuff of legend. It's, the, it's this kid's experience of witnessing the gangs. You know, the Black Spades, the, you know, all of these crazy, these crazy gangs in New York. And the graffiti gangs that came after just in the same five summers, if you like. Um, forget the police. They were the, they were the least important threat. It was whether or not you could stay alive from getting killed or shot in the yards when you were trying to paint. So he saw all this stuff. And I guess... For my growing up in the West Midlands in England and going to the Bronx, you know, pre, you know, Koch, before the trains were finished, the the, the great white elephants we called them, before they mm -hmm. died and, and graffiti became this different movement on the walls, um, I witnessed a lot of shit, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and I guess like anyone's life's work, it's gonna take it's gonna take a while for a broadcaster to kind of go, I think by Jove, I think I have it. You know, Timeless took a while for people to, it was only Pete Tong had the balls to sign it. You listen to Timeless as an album now, it's one, it stood the test of, the very thing it, it talks about, time. It's, it stood the test of time. It's nostalgic, as a sense of its own reality. It's a coming of age album. This is just the, the visual version of Timeless. Yeah, and no, it sounds like, as we're speaking more and more throughout all of this, you're, you're going to leave a legacy, and we'll end this on none of this now because I, I don't want to waste your time too no, much you, more. You're not wasting any time okay, at all. Um, I mean. If you enjoyed this content, we're doing five clips like this a week. If you want to watch the full podcast, click here.